everybody on our uh, Facebook live feed just welcoming Emily in. This is kind of her, her first big show today and she's our new HSN host. So thank you all so much. As I said, we are in the kitchen here. And you know, if you talk to anybody who, maybe it's a professional chef or somebody who just loves to cook a lot, makes a lot of soups, right? Makes maybe their own salad dressing, makes meringue. They live by the immersion blender, right? Especially hot things, right? Because you don't want to take all that hot, maybe pour it into a blender to mix it up. You have to have the immersion blender. The immersion blender is that blender that goes to the pot wherever you're making that mix. And it's by Dash, one of my favorite brands here in the kitchen. Let me show you some of the colors that you get to choose from here. We have it in the red. We also have it in pink. And then I love this little mint color here. This is our aqua, our teal. And then you move over here, this like dark gray here is going to be your midnight and then we have this is this one our this one's our aqua and this one's our teal they're they're for look you're getting your attachments as well what is this one this one's midnight gotcha well grab them uh you've got easy control here on your hands colors here at hsn colors <laughs> They're all different names. Kelly Diedring is here. Pretty, so there's They're, no yeah. choice. You know, they all work. <laughs> they all work. They all work wonderfully. They're all that wonderful 330 watts of power. This is by Dash. Their motto is unprocess your food. You know you don't want to bring, you know, a hot soup to a giant jug yeah. blender. That's just a big no-no. So you have to have that immersion blender. If you love soups, you're making your own red sauces, smoothies, meringues, um, your own mayonnaise, your salad dressings. This is what you need. I I've never, ever seen um, an immersion blender at this price. I mean, I just haven't. This is right. by Dash. It's stainless steel. You get the balloon whisk attachment as well. This goes up to five or 330 watts, five different speeds. Look at the power that you get, and you can see the steam pouring off my butternut squash soup. Yo, We've got some pear some onions caramelized in there. So you could stop here if you want a thick soup. I'm gonna go a little higher just to show you sort of that power that you get when you want it. Look at the sort of vortex happening as I move my blending wand through here. Just completely going through my pears, my caramelized onions, and then I can even add cream. Watch that vortex sort of start to pull everything in, Ty. That's what you yeah. want, but you don't want the splash. And that's what you get with a really well-designed immersion blender. You can see I am not making a big mess on my countertop. I've got the steam coming off. And now I have this wonderful butternut squash fall-inspired soup. Maybe this is your tomato soup or your grandma, your Italian grandmother's famous red sauce. For, you know, the price of this, it's it's just kind of a no-brainer. $39.99. This is a Black Friday deal. We talk about immersion blenders with this kind of power and these attachments. Normally, it's easily $100, depending oh, yeah. upon where you go. But let me tell you, that's what Dash does. Dash takes, what I know, because all the Dash items I have in my kitchen, uh, you, Dash takes all of that technology, all of that design, and then makes it easy to use and, and easy on your hands, easy, portable in the kitchen, but affordable. They make it affordable. And it's so pretty, isn't and it? And they work time after time. And yeah, as well, like they look great as well, even though I couldn't get the color straight. I'll go through those again. <laughs> make sure fault. I'll make sure you know what color you're getting. <laughs> I mean, are we talking about fall and winter and those soups that you just want to make? Look, she just made this right in front of you. You yes. just saw it go into that great, perfect texture. And Ty, all I have to do now is clean my blending wand. I keep my motor in my utensil drawer, and then I just take this right over to the sink and rinse it clean. It's stainless steel, okay. really high end. Now, 330 watts of power in the palm of your hand is almost as much as the big jug blenders. The big jug, bl jug yes. blenders, you know your traditional blender, on average between 300 and 500 watts. Dash is giving to you uh, that to you literally in the palm of your hand. Um, I've got a little power cord. Got a little cord. We're gonna, we're gonna flip the cord here as well <laughs> Sorry, to show guys. you. But look, the, TV. the power of your hand, the buttons are all right there on your hand, so you're taking it over to I'm where back. you wanna go. Hey, welcome back, Kelly. Hi. Sorry, Hi we were all t uh, tangled up in the back. You have five different speeds settings and a turbo button. So when I do something uh, like my smoothie, and by the way, look, I'm taking it to my smoothie cup. 
I mean, I only have yes. now one blending wand to clean and I'm drinking out of that cup. Um, and so once you start to get through that fiber, that sort of thicker fruit, and by the way, Ty, notice I didn't add anything into this in terms of a liquid. I am liquefying my solids. So my grapes, my spinach, my kale, my protein powder, my collagen. Wow. And then it just purees or smoothifies, if that is the verb. Smoothify, it is. Because now I drink right out of that smoothie mug, right? Um, I could sit here for as long as I wanted in terms of what type of texture do you want your smoothie to have. So there's a pretty smooth smoothie, if you ask me. Uh, ah. 330 watts of power in the palm of your hands. I mean, you're usually talking well over 100 bucks. Yes, easy. It is substantial. I mean, just look at the size and you're getting the power. $39.99. Again, remember, extended... Breakfast is served. Ex I'll take it. Ex Emily would like extended that. holiday <laughs> returns you're getting. Yes, so please. Try this out all through October, November, December. You have until the end of January to even make the final decision if you want to keep it or not. But all that cooking, maybe you're doing a lot of those, those great hearty soups. Maybe you're doing that tomato sauce, maybe meringue for desserts, maybe a whipped top that you're doing, do all of that. You have until the end of January to decide if you want to keep it or not. But that power right there in your hand. And now you're also getting a whisk attachment yeah, as well. Yeah, so this comes included, by the way, rinse everything clean. Again, I keep my 330 watt motor in my utensil drawer. I don't need a big place to store it. And you can see here, when I want to go right in for that whisking, I can go right in for that whisking as well. It's baking season, right? So we all want to mm -hmm. be doing the cookies and the cupcakes. Ty, do me a favor, would you? Yeah. And just put in that, <laughs> besides drink your smoothie. Yeah, I am sorry, I'm yeah, busy, I'm busy, busy over here, Kelly. And make yourself useful, dude. Mm -hmm. You're right, you're um, right. Put in that pumpkin puree for me. It's right there next to me. Do you Ooh, see that? I will. Go yes, ahead I will. and drop that in here for me. Um, you want all of it in there? Yeah, How much all of, of it. Want? Because I'm making a pumpkin spice waffle, and we wanted to do, Ooh. yeah, some fresh pumpkin puree. This smells amazing. This is amazing. just my waffle mix. This could be gingerbread. Maybe you want to do some peppermint chunks. But that was my oil, my water, my flour, my waffle mix. We're gonna use our Dash waffle stick maker to make beautiful pumpkin spice waffles. And there's that balloon whisk. I just literally remove it with a push of a button and take it over and rinse it to my sink. 330 watt whisk now. Now I don't have to get out my big stand mixer and bless the stand mixer's heart. <laughs> it does a good job, but it's big, it's giant, it's yeah. clunky. It lives in a separate cabinet. Yeah. I this mean, can you, be anywhere. Yeah, you need help getting it out of your cabinet. So <laughs> Yes, take a look. Do. This you take it. It's forty dollars. It's thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That is a Black Friday deal. If you're joining us here for the first time, we've started our Black Friday deals. You don't have to wait until the day after Thanksgiving. You can jump on these deals right now. Great colors to choose from. Is this like an iced coffee we're it doing is. here? What is so this? we're gonna do an iced coffee. That oh was a cup goodness. of ice and a cup of my coffee. And I can add a cream and a sugar. I can add some stevia, whatever you want. Do you see how instantly now I have an iced coffee? This coffee right here, um, I don't know, eight bucks <laughs> at my local coffee shop. I mean, really, $8 yeah. for a coffee? It would be. This is an iced coffee, a cup of ice, a cup of coffee with maybe your favorite creamer. Actually, I'm gonna just get my spoon out to show you the consistency. It's literally like a slushy consistency. It's the perfect consistency that you want, that you go to those coffee shops yes. to get. Look at that beautiful, just basically snow and coffee, right? Without, without, like you said, without putting this in that huge blender, yeah, which is big and big heavy, blender. which is hard to clean, which is all of that. Okay, uh, real quickly, I need to go over colors and quantity again, because we have less than a thousand to go around completely over all the colors as well. Kyle, can you walk me through some of the colors here? I learned this one was midnight. There you go, I that one's midnight. This one's midnight. <laughs> yes. It's like a navy. 96. 96 oh, in the midnight, beautiful. less than 100 in the it midnight here. Okay, sweater. this is gray, dark gray. How many in the gray, Kyle? 180 in the gray. Red, which is always great, little pop of color in the kitchen, 300 in the red. Move on, I love this like blush, light blush pink, 72, wow. These quantities are very, very low today. And then this one is our aqua. Aqua, 230. So you hear those quantities, very low. Or what about gifting to someone who maybe loves to be in the kitchen, but Kelly, maybe because that big blender is heavy, because the stand mixer is heavy, maybe they're not in the kitchen yes. as much as they would like to be. I think it's a wonderful gift. It's one of those gifts where the recipient is gonna think you spent more than you did. That's my favorite kind of gift, where somebody's like, wow, <laughs> I, yeah, didn't, this is, I didn't spend 100 bucks on them. Little do they know, right? <laughs> and that's the beauty of HSN shopping. But
I just did my own What'd whipped cream, but this could be a salad dressing. This could be um, your own fresh um, mayonnaise, you know. Okay, there's my iced coffee. I'm bringing it back over okay. with some fresh homemade whipped cream. Does it get Ooh. better in life? I just saved myself eight bucks at the coffee shop, at least, depending on what size you get. It could be more. Well, it could be more, yeah. Yeah, and I just, that's my iced coffee with my own fresh whipped cream. If you've never done your own fresh whipped cream, oh. It's to die for. And you made both of those kind of in yeah, the cup. Yeah, with the like same. In, inside the cup right here, there's not all these other extra dishes and big heavy stuff. You just made it there. Look at that. Same Hand wand. Held. So that's Hand why held. I like to take that off and show you. This is the power motor. Don't rinse this. You don't need to. Just wipe it clean. This is your motor. 330 watts of power. And then both attachments just snap off and snap on. There you both go. Both attachments just run them under the sink. They're stainless steel. Kelly, They're not, nothing's going to stick. Kelly says, make yourself useful, make dude. Make yourself useful, dude. Welcome Drink back, that Kelly. Coffee. Jeez. Drinking uh, my coffee. Drink is okay. not making yourself useful. <laughs> Here is mashed potatoes, maybe. Yeah, and what I love about it is I actually can change the speed while I'm using this. So you can see, with my mashed potatoes, I want a little bit higher speed, um, and I can change it while I'm using it. But, you know, I pressure cook my mashed potatoes to get them soft, so I take my blending wand straight to my stainless steel pressure cooker insert. I don't, it, it eliminates an entire dish for oh, me. Oh, wow, So right. look at how beautiful those look. I mean, stuff Stunning mashed potatoes, right? In maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, they're perfectly mashed and you can take those. And then when I want to, I can literally just pop that attachment off. You yep. can see you just uh, kind of give it a squeeze and then I can pop my whisk on and take my whisk over to my stove top and get the lumps out of my gravy. Now remember, you, you have know. five speeds. I'm gotcha. gonna turn it down for my gravy. I don't need it.